Hi everybody and welcome to video 6 in our um, French floral series. Now I do have the add-on kit as well so it gave me a lot of um, cards and things. This is the kit French florals by Chapter 1 Papers. Okay so um, my video 6 that I started we got 10 minutes in and my computer stopped to do a Windows update. So um, I hate it when it does that without any warning whatsoever. I'm going to have to try to go in there in the settings and have it uh, give me the warning that says, you know, you need an update and uh, pick a time. But usually it says do it within 10 minutes or we're going to do it for you or if you don't respond and if I'm doing a video, I'll be on and on. Anyway, needless to say, we had gotten a little bit done. We had gone back here to this flap that had all the stenciling on it except for it had a little bit of a line in it that I didn't like. And we glued this. It's not a belly band. It's a tuck. And what we did was we glued it in an eye shaped glue pattern. So then we can tuck stuff in this side and we can tuck stuff in this side. We had done that and we had started on our next page which was page four. We were going to go back here to page four. I believe it's our last big page and we're going to put this envelope on here and all we had done was papered the front, inked and papered the front. Okay, so that's all the farther we got. So we, you didn't miss a whole lot. We were only eight minutes in or something like that when it crashed. So let's go ahead and paper the back of the envelope and we're going to use part of this to paper the back and part of it to paper the paper I believe. Wait a minute. No, we're going to part do the envelope back with that and then um, where's the other piece? Oh, it's right here in front of me. We're going to put this piece in here. I've cut off those little pesky tabs so that we can have a straight across uh, place to um, paper. Oh, and we had put the magnet on the back and that was all we had done. So let's cut this for the back. I'm paranoid. I keep looking over there at the computer. The computer sits to my left so I can't really see it. Um, unless I turn over to that way and look. Now, I think we should do it so that the taller flowers are on the one side. You'll notice the height, um, I believe we had already cut. No, we hadn't. This was a scrap that just happened to be... No, this card just happens to be the same size as an eight and a half. Okay. So we're going to do that and we're going to cut it this wide. That's pretty. And then you've got room to write at the top. We're going to erase this pencil mark. I can't believe that it's mid June and I have a sweatshirt on or a thicker shirt on. white sweatshirt thickness but not t-shirt thickness either and it's long sleeve.
Oh, and I think I had talked a little bit about um, this glue, Fabri-Tac glue. It's based, it's got an acetone base, not a water base. So it doesn't, uh, as far as I have used it on papers, um, it, it doesn't wrinkle it at all. And it dries clear. So I haven't had any trouble with it, even with uh, coffee dyed paper. And if you need to thin it down, you can. And you just use nail polish remover, you just use acetone. It's better with the 100% acetone, but in a pinch you can use nail polish remover, which I think is 70%. And then it's got some kind of additive in there. And we're going to take this paper. I keep looking around for it. It just blends in with that so well. And we're going to use it to fill in here. So we're going to need an inch and a half wide piece. And then we're going to need a piece this long. Let's see if that's a little bit too long. Well, it doesn't really matter how tall of a piece of paper we used. Oh, an inch and a half would have been too narrow on this. So we're going to fill in this area between here and here. And it has to go down a little bit, down in. So let's glue this. keep hearing this meatloaf songs in my head <laughs> listening to the oldies station and Sirius XM the best one is 553 which is the top 1000 you don't really hear uh, repeats okay so that worked well and I did put it right side up by just a lucky chance and then this is going to go under our paper and our paper is going to be this. Um, I believe I'm going to use this side so you have writing area on this great big long. No, it's got to go this way. So you'll still have a writing space in the middle. So let's cut this down. Hopefully we don't have to switch this envelope to the other side. If it's too big, we'll use it on the back. If I miscalculated, okay, right to the edge of the stamping. In fact, we want to do it a little bit narrower than that. I think that's enough room for our envelope. Because we can't switch sides that we attach it to because that will make it um, upside down. So this looks about right and it's round these two corners X 
accidentally had it on the one quarter inch setting. So we'll put it here like that. And we'll put this on here. Ooh, that's close. We'll have just enough room to hook it on. We could print this out again and make a really big long hidden tuck on this page. Oops. Trying to get ink off the lid. But anyway, I like listening to Station 553 on Sirius XM because they play all kinds of classic rock. Because it's the top 1,000. It isn't just, I don't know, heavy metal or rock opera like Queen or, you know, something like that. If you just use your regular ALEXA, and say play classic rock, it will do that, but it almost always starts with a Queen song, and then it goes from there, and then it has like a set playlist, so if you don't listen to it very long, and then you come back and ask it to play it again, then you're hearing the same series of songs. Now, I don't know how I noticed this, except for it kind of drove me nuts. Um, So, yeah. Okay, so we've got this on here. Oh, we didn't put the magnet on the back. I didn't glue the envelope on and put the magnet on the back. What is wrong with my brain? What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> so we're going to glue it on this side. Mm -mm. We're going to glue it on this side. I think my mind was on classic rock, wasn't it? And not classic envelope flip out. So that's that. Let's do our magnet to hold it on. Normally you would want to use the three-quarter inch tape, but I accidentally got the half inch tape, so that would work a little bit better. Let's re-glue this. This time we'll put a little more on the corner so we can kind of slide it around because we've got that little bit of glue on there already that's going to reactivate.
So we've got this, and then when we open it up, we have this with this, and then we've got this with your writing area here. It wouldn't hurt. Maybe we'll put an acetate pocket across here and put a giant card in. Let's see what I've got. Yeah, that'll work. Heck, even this will work. going to put the pocket across here above the uh, curve. I'm going to cut about a sixteenth off, maybe an eighth, and then um, I'm going to make the pocket three and a half inches tall. So I'm going to go three and a half and do that first. I'm going to do a little bit off the side. Let's see where we're at. All right, that's perfect. There's a black dot. I have to make it a little bit shorter. Okay. It's all right. It doesn't hurt anything. It goes up kind of high in this corner, so we'll only be able to stick our card down this far. Go to the back cover. We're going to do a big double pocket with part of the pocket being under here. So we really don't have to do much. Except decide which way we want this to go. Do it the other way, we get most of the flowers. Well, it shouldn't matter. so many of these narrow pieces off that um, I have a bunch of a ginormous amount of papers that could be used as belly bands. It worked alright. <laughs> Otherwise the writing would have been upside down so it worked out fine. Okay. 
And the reason we're doing this on the back is simple. It's because, um, wow. Yeah, we can't do both. See, and that's boring. This one was supposed to be in the bottom, though. Yeah, then we've got the full flowers. So we'll have to cut this one narrower. That's all right. again. Hmm. They're both the same size at this point. If I do this on the bottom, you can see the flowers all the way up. I do this on the front. I don't know, I kind of almost like this better on the front. The front of it has the flowers that cover the whole thing. So I'm going to put this on here. Then I'm going to put this on. And then I'm going to cut it off of this end. some reason I can't line up a single piece of simple piece of paper. ink these. Look at it this way. At least we don't have to ink both sides. This is a kind of a plain, except for the craziness of all the flowers, um, but really a plain, usable 
uh, folio. So you can write in it. You've got all the cards that you can write on. And, I mean, giant cards. This is going to have two giant cards in it. Um, almost the size of the height of the journal. I don't really want to put a card or a belly band or something on the outside of the back because I want it to lay flat and I don't want you know your hands to get caught up on anything or anything like that. going to glue this to this one as a pocket. So I'm just going to go up to where it starts to curve. I'm going to have so many cards to sit down and do. Fortunately a lot of them are going to be really big. So we're not going to have to worry about too much trimming. You know they're going to be close to the full size of the page. And we're going to glue this on as a pocket. We could have put thumb holes, but I decided not to. Make sure our flowers are right side up. Looks like I'm going to have to bring it back just a little bit. And let that dry. And then that's 40 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and stop this video because I have to plan out what we're going to do next. And, um, we should be able to get, you know, four of these done, front and back. One, two, three, four. Well, we got two of those done already. So we should be able to finish this section. And if we do, then the book will be done. So let's see what I can figure out. Um, it's not that hard to do these. Usually they're pockets, belly bands, or... Um, 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 I don't know what else. Anyway, but we're not going to do quite that. We're going to do a little something different here. Um, and then we'll figure out the other four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. And there's no magnets in these. Why are there no magnets? This 
this magnet. The tape can only be as deep as the tuck on this one. We're going to have to hide it under here. So let's put it in the center. So I'll put my tucks on either side here. <laughs> they all came out and they were stuck to the scissors. So I was like, where are the magnets? Then we want them to attach over here somewhere. So we're going to already papered this. So let's at least keep them together if nothing else. Can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. So that will at least keep these together when we turn them and it'll be thick enough to be like a page and they won't really flop around as much. Um, so we can still turn them. What happened here? Hmm. Okay, all right, well that's the end of this video and I'll see you in the next video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.